Today I'm investigating why the blades won't engage on my Swisher Predator rough cut mower. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I'm extremely hard on this particular piece of machinery. I'll leave some links in the description below if you want to check out those videos. For now, let's get this cover off and figure out what the problem is. We're going to need a 13 mm socket for this project. Upon removing the six bolts that hold down the pulley system cover, it's pretty apparent exactly what my problem is. As you can see right here, the spring at the end of the transmission cable has broke. Now, I don't have a lot of time to go ahead and order a new transmission cable for this because you can't just order just this spring. So, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick fix for this, show you what I'm going to do, and get this all tensioned back up correctly. After that, I'll contact Swisher and get a new cable. Hopefully they'll provide one for free. If not, one's going to set me back about $20. In order to make this quick fix work, the first thing I did was went ahead and cut off the end of that spring flush. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple pairs of pliers and attempt to put a hook in the remaining section of this spring here so that I can get it into one of these holes here and then readjust the tension on the transmission cable. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. But since I've only got two hands and no tripod at the moment, I'm just going to go ahead and get this done, and I'll show you the finished product. To properly work on this spring, I had to get the cable out of the tensioner groove there. Let me pick that back up. And I'm going to have to reset the tension on this once I have the spring curved. You can see I started it right there. But I've got a lot to play with here, so it shouldn't be bad. And besides that, i still got those three holes, so I can pick any one of those to put that in. The kicker here is, is... I don't know why this spring broke in the first place because the steel that this spring is made out of is ridiculously hard and very, very, very difficult to bend. So it's taken a lot of time. After using several different tools in this tight space, I was finally able to put a hook in the end of that spring. It would be a lot easier to remove the whole cable if you wanted to, but this will work for me. Now I'll be able to slide it in one of these holes here Go ahead and get the tension reset, and then this will be a good temporary quick fix for my transmission cable and get my blades to re-engage again. So I'm going to go ahead and get this hooked back up and keep moving forward. Well, that's it. This project's done. You can see I've got the spring reconnected. I don't think it's going to come out of there. I've got my tension reset right here. And I've already gone ahead and checked to make sure that it engages properly. If you found any value in this video, you know I'd appreciate that thumbs up like. Feel free to follow us on Instagram and see what we're up to throughout the week between videos. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe. Or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.